and I just got stuck in a tree. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Spine. Welcome to some more Scrap Mechanic. Now, they just released a new update, and what's this? Is that my tank? Camouflaged? Yep. As you guys can see, they finally released the color tool for Scrap Mechanics. So we can actually color our blocks and our creations. So look at this. Now I got a really crappy camouflage tank here, which is pretty awesome. And I just got stuck in a tree. <laughs> Anyways, what I want to do is I want to create something very simple and basic so that we can test out this color tool here. Now what I want to create is I want to create a little workstation and a little garage like building so I can store some vehicles in it, maybe my tank, nothing too fancy. But I think I'm going to build it out in this uh, barren wasteland out on the, on the edge of the map just because it's easy to access and there's not too much hills. Yeah, I guess we can work with this. We can make a little tiny um, house out here in the barren wasteland. We can make our own grass, I guess little tiny yard but what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with some concrete because concrete looks the nicest currently when you color it now we're gonna make a nice base for our house I think this looks like a nice flat chunk of land right where I am we work with this really good actually now I'm not sure what else they added to the update But I do know that they also added some new tracks to the radio, which we'll add in our little workshop. So I think that's almost good. Maybe a couple more layers, plus some more on the back. Now we don't like how that is still there. We could work with that. We could put a table there or something. So there we go. What we're going to do is we're going to actually color the ground here. Now to open up your paint tool menu, you got to press Q. So now we gotta look for a nice color for our floor. Now, the workshop floor, we can put a nice steel looking color, or we can have a nice white color, but I think a nice steel color wouldn't look nice. Uh, that's pretty that's pretty similar to the one we have on currently. You know, I like that. That's nice and bright. Nice bright shop floor. So that you can see all the mud you actually bring in. <laughs> there we go. That kind of hurts my eyes. <laughs> okay, now what I want to do is we're going to add the walls. But first, we're going to actually add a garage bay. Now for that, we actually have to bring the tank over so that we can measure the garage width. Okay, here we go. We got the tank. I'm just going to place it right in front. Somewhere right there so we can get a good judgment of how big we need to make the doors. Now I haven't actually built a house in one of my videos yet, so I thought it would be a good idea, especially when they added the color tool, so we can customize it the best. Okay, now we're going to make this out of, well, we can make it out of metal, tile, brick, I think brick would be nice. I want to see what color we can turn the bricks. A nice red brick would be a cool little design, I guess. Okay. Let's see how the color looks. I'm going to go into red. A dark red? Maybe a dark red. Ooh. That looks pretty nice, actually. How about a bright red? That looks better. I like that bright red color. Okay. Now we're going to place the extra walls. Now I'm going to place this all around the house. So I might skip it. Okay, so there we go. I added the walls around my little shop here. Now we need to make a main entrance. Now I'm not going to go in depth of figure out where exactly um, the door should be. I think that looks pretty good. So what we can actually do now is that we have the color tool. We can actually make little like uh, cool little entryways. We can add little uh not real leaves but we can add leaves and stuff around the buildings i'll show you guys that in a second we can add colored handrails there we go i guess you can kind of go like this 
And that looks all right. But you can also go into here and find an entity like uh, these little staircase wedges. You can actually color these as well. So we gotta make her shop wheelchair accessible. Go in here. Now you can color these as well. So you can make your um, really complicated machines and contraptions look very nice with the color tool. Now there's no, no uh, metallic paints and stuff like that, but you can work with it. That's why I'm using metal here. There we go. Now I think this shop would look nice with a nice little wood patio. If you right click like what I just did there, you can actually revert your stuff back to the main color, which is pretty cool. Okay, here we go. That looks pretty nice. You can color that as well, but I like the color that that's there currently. You can actually make the wood darker too, like this. There you go. You got a nice hardwood color there. All right. So now that we got that, we can actually work on the garage door. Now, I don't know if we need to make this a little higher. We might. So we're going to grab our bearing like this. Get a nice. I guess we can get a nice concrete block there because they're pretty lightweight. I want something that's decently lightweight. Now, the bearings don't connect still, I don't think. But since we don't want to make them too heavy, we're going to actually use two blocks there. Now we're going to go inside so we can place our controller. I think that looks pretty cool, actually. Okay, where's the controller? There we go. I'm just going to add it in the corner here. Right about there. And then we also need a switch. Now the thing with switches is usually only one switch will work at a time. So we're going to throw this on here and we're going to hook these up to the bearings. There we go. You got to turn them to make sure they're going the same way. I think those are going the same way. Yep, yeah, those are going the same way. So we have to go blue 90. 90 degrees blue. So when we press the button, it opens upwards. Now, I don't really like the look of that, but the thing is, if we do it the other way, here, I'll show you, it will hit our tank. Unless we move our tank forwards a little more, but I don't think we have much room. Now, okay, here we go. Oh! Okay. That's pretty cool. The tank actually has a lot of room in there. Sweet, I like that. Looks pretty sweet. So we're gonna color the garage door a nice, uh, nice dark color, I guess. Sweet. Okay. Since there's no one really in here to steal my vehicles, I'm just gonna have a little, little hole there to open up the door. Looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna color in our shop here, and then I'm also gonna add a temporary roof all right so there we go here's the shop with the full color and that's what the color tool has for potential you can actually add life to things now they need to add um proper lights i don't know if uh lights in here will actually light up the building let's try no it's a little dark in here but that's fine so there we go Let's test out the garage. Looks pretty good. Now, what we gotta do is we gotta give it a little more life. Add a door here. I think we're gonna try to add some shrubs here. What they need to do though, in future updates for the color tool or a separate block, they need to add windows. I guess you could use something like a palette or these guys here. But those are actually entities, I believe. So they might use up a lot of space and they start to lag after a while. 
Yeah, I guess you could use these. They don't look the greatest though. So there we go. We're going to add some shrubs. Don't know what we can really use for shrubs. Maybe, uh, might be able to use just plants. I guess we could just put plants in the inside. Hmm. What would look best? I wonder what this looks like when it's painted. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Okay. Well, we're just going to use some normal concrete. Add some shrubs. Nothing too fancy. Looks decent, I guess. There we go. Let's try coloring it. Doesn't look the greatest. It looks funny, actually. Okay. Go into Q menu. What would be a good, good color for shrubs? I guess the bright green color. There we go. That looks pretty nice, actually. Hmm. Cool. So I'm just going to touch up a little more on this base. And then I'll show you guys what else we can do. Alright, so I did a lot more work on the shop, and here it is! Whoa! That's amazing! Now, I didn't get the color scheme totally correct, but yeah, I added a nice little grass yard here. Obviously that's concrete, but the concrete does a really good job of making it look like grass. So what we need to do now is we need to add a door here, and a door here. Now. This area back here, this is going to be a bathroom. So what we need to do is we need to add a toilet. We're going to add the toilet right about there. And a sink. We'll put a sink right here. Maybe a little lower than that. There we go. That's about dwarf size. Looks good. And then we need a little toilet paper roll. Something like... Something like this, I guess. Sure, maybe we should just turn it that way. Now, I don't really care which way the toilet paper roll is supposed to go, but that looks decent. I think that works. That works pretty good. Okay, now we need to add the doors. Now, for the doors, we're going to use a nice... Uh, hmm. Nice wood doors. Go. Up like this. And how I usually do my doors is I usually put the button right about here so that you can easily access it since the buttons don't actually work. If you have multiple of them on, that works for now. Now we need to add a controller. So There's a controller. Now we're going to put it somewhere hidden in the corner for now. Right about there. So we'll throw the button back down. Put this up to the controller. And the controller gets hooked up to the bearing, or the bearing to the controller. Now, we got to put the bearing on the controller negative 60. Now, I messed up here. Negative 90, I mean. There we go. I think that is correct. Red 90. That should work. Hook this back up. There we go. And we have a working bathroom door. We can actually sit on the toilet, and it actually flushes. It's pretty amazing. Okay, might as well color this door here. A nice brown color. Can we color buttons? We can, that's pretty cool. And we need to add a front door. Go, the same style. Now we can just crawl through the window, I guess. Not very safe. No reason to have a door if we, we could just crawl through the windows. What about there's good. So this gets hooked up to the bearing, and the button gets hooked up to the controller. Like that. And now we need to go blue 90. Blue 90. Now that should turn it our direction. There we go. We now have a door. That works. Oh, we don't want a nice red door. We want a nice brown door. There we go. I don't know what that noise was at all. Did something break? 
No clue. There we go. We have the doors working. And the last thing I want to show you guys is the new sounds for the radio. So we're going to put the radio right on the receptionist's desk so that they can listen to some music. Right there. So can we turn it off? Sweet. I think this is a new song. Not quite sure. Cool. Alright guys, so that's all I have to show you for today. So, if you have any suggestions for this build or future episode builds, please let me know in the comments and I'll take a look at them. And thank you guys for watching and subscribing and I will see you guys next episode. And remember to stay sweet. Bye.